Hi folks, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be dealing with some uh, women boots and basically the main thing is just to clean them and deal with the uh, scuffs on the toe. The left boot is the one with the with the worst uh, scuff. The right the right one doesn't have that much. So we're gonna deal with these one first and we're going to start by cleaning them with saddle soap. So we have warm water and the soap. And we're going to be cleaning this in sections because it's such a large uh, boot versus just a dress shoe. So let's uh, clean this, wipe it, and then we'll go on to the next sections. But I'm going to do the following sections off camera, it's just more of the same. And then I'll come back when I'm done with the entire boot. Okay. Okay, so we let that dry, and now we're going to apply a Venetian shoe cream. This is a cream that I personally have never used before, so I've been wanting to try it out. A lot of people um, out on the internet uh, recommend this for boots. So we're going to give it a, uh, a try. I'm just going to put some. On this rag and rub it on the boot. This is something you want to do every six months to a year, I think, on all your um, shoes and boots just to. Um, you know, replenish the oils as the um, as the shoe dries. The more you use the your um, boots or shoes, the more you want to do this. One thing I wanted to mention is when you unzip this uh, boot, there is this leather flap that opens up. So this leather flap is flexing all the time, every time that that you wear the, your, your shoe. So you definitely want to apply the cream, the conditioner, to this area. Uh, this area, as it gets old, if anything is going to crack, it's going to be that leather. So you want to apply conditioners uh, to that area. The conditioners are not just for what you see. It's not to make it pretty, it's to uh, make sure that the leather is not dry and that's whether the leather is visible or not visible. So make sure to apply it to all of the uh, leather parts, okay? Now 
I don't want to bore you with applying these to the entire boot, so I'm going to do that off camera and then come back when it's time to uh, brush it off. Okay, so we let the cream dry and I've actually brushed uh, most of the boot already. Um, I'm just going to focus on the front, which is where the scratch uh, was. Also a scratch here, so let me buff that. And no more scratch. So what we're going to do next is we're going to apply some edge dressing to the sole and just take care of that, those spots. Now these can get runny, uh, so I always uh, put a, uh, some sort of cloth or something to hold uh, any excess. And this one is a uh, brown color. This one is, is made by uh, Griffin. Well, that's interesting. That white spot is not taking. I'll probably have to go several times. spot there okay I'll, I'll go over it when this dries I'll go again over it and then we'll see the the result and here we have the uh, boots all done uh, they are clean the scuffs have been taken care of uh, we sanded the, uh, the toe so that any area that uh, was rough now feels the same as any other area. It's all smooth um, We applied the Conditioner so it's not dry anymore and then we applied the shoe cream to cover the the scuffs